Hey YouTube, camper van Kevin here, coming to you today from uh, right outside Atlanta, Georgia. And today I want to talk to you about a little project that I've had going on. Um, my door panels on my 87 Class B Ford Econoline were getting in pretty bad shape. Um, you, know, you leave the door open a couple times, they get wet. You leave the windows down a couple times, they get wet. The panel's just uh, really just a, a real thick cardboard that's covered in vinyl. Uh, the side doors and the back doors were more like a wallpaper even. So uh, I had a lot of wear on them. Yeah. Here are my door panels. We're going to use these as a pattern to cut them. So I was kind of scratching my head uh, trying to figure out what to come up with that would be a, a permanent solution. Um, yes, I could have got them reupholstered, but uh, I wanted something more durable and I wanted something to make the van stand out more. So I had an idea. The idea that I had was to use diamond tread aluminum. Um, these older Ford vans, I guess to make it easier for the conversion companies to do the the, the paneling and everything on them, um, on these year models from about 75 to 91, everything is flat. And I got to looking at the door panels, I thought, hmm, I bet I can get the aluminum to fit this. So uh, with the help of my uh, welder, Wesley, uh, and all his tools and equipment and expertise, uh, we ordered the metal and uh, got it on the way. Uh, I used to have a Suzuki Samurai that uh, had the same issue with uh, the vinyl um, on the uh, upholstered uh, cardboard with the sun and rain and everything it had started to peel and I had found a set on eBay uh, already cut diamond tread aluminum and so I bought that and put it on. I miss selling my Samurai. I had it for five years. I've had I had four of them, but I had one of them that was my favorite for five years. But that's what kind of inspired me to do it on this van. So in this video, uh, I'll show you the old door panels. Uh, Wesley uh, cutting the uh, aluminum to fit, and we used the old panels to uh, trace uh, onto the uh, metal and then we cut them out uh, well, what Wesley did. Uh, what I did was uh, they used his shop equipment and tools and drills and everything and I installed them. Uh, it took some time but uh, I'm really happy with the so product. The next few clips uh, are going to be uh, at the welding shop and uh, it's going to show the kind of the process that went into cutting the panels. Uh, I wasn't able to film uh, installing the panels uh, there's a lot of traffic and people walking around the shop, and so I just didn't do it. And I, I, I did the install at the welding shop. But uh, again, Wesley did a great job. He's the guy that did the exhaust on my van. He's the, the guy that does all of my welding and all my equipment. He's just fantastic. So thanks, thanks a lot, Wesley, for uh, for all your help. Uh, so we'll see the uh, the clips, and then I'll show you the finished product at the end. I think you'll like it. I know I do.
Okay, let me show you the driver door. Much improvement. The other had a pocket down here that uh, on every van that I had, you put a little bit of stuff down in it and it just falls out. And the bottom edges, once the panels get wet, once, once it gets rained on one time, the panels start to curl and it had little plastic inserts that push into the door. They, they don't hold. So I went in and I put stainless steel screws here all the way around. And uh, he has a plasma cutter to cut the holes and everything for that. And he used uh, his other equipment to cut the tool out, to cut the, the panel out. Let me show you the back. Okay, here's the back. Big improvement. We had one piece of new metal, and he had one piece of metal that was used at the shop. Uh, so I got a little bit of patina back here on this, but I'm okay with that. And while I was back here, not only did I cover these, this was also looking very poor. This was looking bad, and the carpet was looking bad back here. So I just cut and wedged this in. I've got a screw in right here so I didn't hit the, the holding tank over here. But wow, what an improvement. If you saw an earlier video, uh, when I had the windows tinted, when I had these panels off, uh, I realized that there was no insulation anywhere in my doors, which was kind of shocking to me. So all of this is going to have to come back off and the insulation's got to go in. I just didn't have it with me at the shop today. I'm at the house today and while I'm filming this and uh, Tucker was having a fit, he thought I was going to go somewhere and leave him. So I brought him and May May out here uh, while I'm, I'm shooting this. Uh, he didn't like the idea of uh, him not getting to go. So Tucker say hey to everybody. I trim their bridges or their nose myself and I got to learn how to cut these little dogs by myself every time I go to the, the vet. To trim all three of them is over $150. So they may be having some bad haircuts while I learn how to do this. But uh, nonetheless, here are the side doors. Isn't that pretty? Put my trim back on here for the, the curtain. This was the only bad cut on the whole job. Uh, but I'm happy with it. I've got to get uh, some... Uh, acetone or something to remove the, uh, the sharpie marks. No, nope. you can't get out now. Can't get out. So I wish we'd have had enough metal left over to put aluminum there. It may be around these doorsteps too. Uh, I am still going to replace all this carpet with uh, the rubber flooring. Uh, it's just that my carpet guy didn't come through for me after. Well, it just didn't come through. So I've got to find another guy to put it in. But uh, Anyway, I think it's a, a really good, I've got to show you the driver, I mean the passenger door. I think it's a real nice upgrade for, for my van. Um, it gives it a lot more character than if I just went back with the upholstery. The, uh, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I've got in it. Um, the metal, one sheet was $180. Uh, he had another sheet that uh, he had at his shop that wasn't a full sheet. It was almost a full sheet. He charged me 120 for it. And then he charged me 120 for labor to, to cut everything out for me. And uh, he let me use all his tools and drills and stuff to install it. Didn't charge me anything for that. Um, so my bill was around 410 um, If I'd have had an old plus three guy do it, I can't see it being much less than that. And then it wouldn't have had near the character. Well, I don't think it would be near as pretty as this. Uh, I'm real pleased with it. I'm real happy with it. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, uh, please hit the little subscribe button. I'm going to put it over here or over here. I'm not sure which one. Um, also, I have a uh, Facebook page that a lot of people that watch me follow on called Camper Van Kevin. So just get on your Facebook browser and look up Camper Van Kevin and that's where we'll be at. And uh, you can kind of follow us a little closer day to day and see what uh, me and uh, the pack of dogs here are doing. But uh, 
anyway, I appreciate, appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Okay, now, take care. Bye-bye.